Election season is upon us, which means political signs are at every turn. In St. Landry Parish, the Sheriff's Office is fielding numerous complaints about sign tampering. News 10's Elise Corville explains the actions the Sheriff is taking to deter the crime and why he's not sitting back and just letting it happen. It seems like a minor complaint. Someone messed with the sign, but Sheriff Bobby Guidro says he will not let the criminals get away with it. He says when a complaint comes across his desk about a political sign being moved, stolen, and or damaged, he will do what he can to find the individual involved and make sure they are held accountable. It's just not fair. I mean, we spend a lot of money on these signs. They're not cheap. And it belongs to somebody, so you should keep your hands off of it. During the political season, the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office is receiving multiple complaints from political candidates saying their signs have been tampered with. Sheriff Guidro says this is not a one time thing. He says it happens every election season. We've seen signs that were defaced, that were destroyed, uh, and, and left in that position to show their. Anger. Sheriff Guidros tells News 10 he himself has fallen a victim to sign tampering in the past. Whenever the political season comes around, people are running for office, they're investing money in signs, getting the approval from the landowners, the homeowners, and it's a pretty big investment. Under Louisiana's criminal mischief law, it is illegal to steal or tamper with a political sign without the consent of the owner, therefore making it a criminal act. Once a complaint comes in, these people can be fined not more than five. $500 nor serve uh, more than six months in jail. So there is there are penalties to it. With 12 municipalities in the parish and multiple races within one municipality, Sheriff Guidros admits it is hard to investigate and uncover every complaint, but says the community helps with information. People will report to us or to the candidate that so and so took their sign and moved it or threw it away. And Sheriff Guidro says when a political sign has been moved, stolen, and or damaged, his office needs to know. He says you can call the non-emergency police line. Reporting in St. Landry Parish, Elise Corville, KLFY News 10. Sheriff Guidro reminds candidates there are some regulations about where a sign can be. You must ask permission from the home or landowner before posting a sign. Also avoid putting signs near intersections because they may block the view of drivers.